Okay, let's do a little warm-up. Though, I guess you probably won't even break a sweat. Ash density is very low, and we've got beautiful weather today. Should be smooth sailing. There aren't that many origami responses, but don't be careless, okay? Thanks, Amy. So, let's get cracking, shall we? Nice view, huh? I fought in this area before, way back. I was a wandering mercenary for several years after the Calamity. I had nowhere to go, and nowhere to return to either. Us normal god eaters couldn't do much. It was hide in a port, manage ages, or fight outside the ash. I didn't want to join anyone, and there was no way I was going to be sending kids out to fight. So I wandered from place to place, looking for somewhere to live or die. That went on for years. Until one day, the Orin came and found me. She was a boy in her ash crawler. The Chrysanthemum. Done already? <sighs> Sorry, but I, I want to take a look around. Uh, can you give us a bit? Oh, sure, that's no problem. Thanks. You don't mind hanging out a bit longer, do you?
I was roaming around as a mercenary, and the owner still went to the trouble to find me. She asked me to help realize the utopia she used to talk about. <laughs> I went slack-jawed. That dream, the one I thought lost in the calamity, she was still chasing it. But I didn't feel like taking her up on her offer. My heart was twisted from what happened, and her choosing me stung somehow. So I tried to say no. But she told me she looked up my history and talents, and had just the right job for me. <sighs> it's just like her, right? She found hope and possibility, even in someone like me. I admired her confidence so much, and... Before I knew it, I'd signed up with her. And ever since, I've been running around for the port. It's been hectic, but fulfilling. But Warner wasn't with her anymore. I sometimes wonder if the two of them had worked together again on that shared dream. Don't you think they'd have come up with something even better than the ports we have now? I've done everything I could in the hopes that I could atone for my failures. That feeling never leaves me. Better. Yeah. Better. Right. You've never rested on your laurels, even with all your accomplishments. That utopia might still be waiting for us up ahead. That's what the owner must think, too. You're saying it's not the time to stand still just yet, then? I messed up. I got so caught up in my worries that I thought I was at a dead end. I can't act like this in front of you or the owner. Not when you're always aiming higher. Thanks. And talking to you has given me a bit of a better grip on myself. So, what do you say we go and put my past where it belongs? You've come this far with me. You'll stick around to the end, right? I want to be able to hold my head up high and stand shoulder to shoulder with all of you.